So the recent bipartisan budget and debt limit deal, it got done. It sort of flew a little bit under the radar. It just There was no talk about it whatsoever, very little controversy. You were very unhappy with it. Explain to us why. Yeah, I, I'm, I am at the point where I believe the fiscal recklessness that we seem to exhibit at every opportunity has really come to reflect this broken government system that we have where it's so hyperpartisan and it's so toxic and both parties are competing from what I can see on giveaways to the public. So this debt deal, and I will say what's really important is we lifted the debt ceiling. We didn't even have those crazy calls we used to have for actually defaulting, which is an inconceivably stupid thing to do. So we left, lifted the debt ceiling, but we should have done that without actually increasing the debt. It used to be that when we increased the debt ceiling, we took it as a moment to think about should we bring our debt down. Instead, we borrowed another $320 billion over two years at a time when the debt has never been this high relative to the economy when the economy was this strong. So we're already breaking records in terms of being irresponsible. We added to that debt further, and we got rid of all spending restraints going forward. So over 10 years, this deal would cost $1.7 trillion. What concerns me is what you said. Nobody was talking about it. Many of the people we've looked at as fiscal heroes in the past voted for this without even kind of a, 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 you know, a peep about right. how damaging this was to the debt. And this issue, because it's hard, is disappearing from the national agenda, and well, that worries me. Well, that's what I want to pick up on, because, I mean, uh, I remember back a couple of years ago, I mean, when there were these divisive political, ideological battle lines, even within the Republican Party. I mean, why, what is the source of no one talking about this? Is it President Trump? Is it uh, folks that just are not, I mean, it's not even on the, the menu of, of, of yeah. concerns? I think President Trump is part of it in that I think our leaders are part of it. There is no political leadership right now. And Rankin file members on both sides are following their leaders. There is no leadership reminding the country our debt's the highest it's ever been since World War II. Our interest payments are going to be faster than our defense budget five or six years from now. All the warning signals are there, but you don't hear any political leaders calling for it. And the parties are so concerned about the next election. Every election is, you know, life or death in both parties' minds, instead of saying, what are the issues that we actually need to be working on? And President Trump, as you, as you asked about, the debt has gone up $2 trillion since he's been in office. But I think more troubling, he's signed legislation. This is somebody who was going to get rid of the debt, which we don't need to do and we shouldn't do. But he has signed legislation that would actually increase the national debt by $4.1 trillion. That's what he's signed into law on top of a growing debt. So there's no leadership on this issue. And without leadership, I don't know how this comes back.